everybody. It's Mrs. Rose. Um, I miss you guys a lot. It's been two weeks since we've seen each other. Um, and that's too long. I miss you guys. Um, and so I'm really excited because I'm going to start reading some social studies books. Don't worry. They're like kind of little kid picture books, but, um, then maybe one day we'll start doing some more lecturing kind of stuff. But I just wanted to share with you guys. I know that we love doing Christmas Around the World where I read the picture books and we had story time. So watch me and Miss Lowe read our books and grab your blanket and snuggle up. And it is story time. Today we're going to read a book um, that you could potentially find a job from. It is called If I Were a Park Ranger. It was written by Katherine Steer and illustrated by Patrick Corrigan. And it's a really cute little book. And it tells you all of the, um, I bought this at a national park. I don't remember which one. And, oh wait, yes I do. Hold on. In San Antonio. So I bought it at the missions in San Antonio. Um, but you probably find it at the Arch. So um, when that opens back up. If this is a book that you would want to find, that's probably where you could get it. Um, here we go. <clears throat> if I were a park ranger. Imagine serving as a park ranger for a U.S. national parks. If I were a national park ranger, after going to college to study wildlife biology, conservation, or education, I'd work for the National Park Service. I'd wear a special uniform a hat, and a badge. And they're at Redwood National Park. If I were a national park ranger, I'd be part of what historian William Stegner called America's best idea. I'd proudly continue the legacy begun by people who had a vision of preserving our country's most beautiful, historic, and unique ideas. So I'll just give you a few of them. This is Captain Charles Young. He was the first African American to serve as lieutenant. I mean, I'm sorry, superintendent of a national park. This is Gerard Baker. He was a superintendent. He brought Native American perspectives into the parks. This is Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, um, and she was a writer and conservationist who helped save Everglades National Park. Some people hang pictures of pretty scenery on their office walls, but if I were a national park ranger, I would spend a work, my workday in a place that was beautiful all on its own. If I were a national park ranger, I might work in the mountains, in a cave, near a volcano, in the desert, or at the seashore. All right, so this is Olympic National Park in Washington State, Mammoth Cave National Park in Kentucky, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park in Hawaii, Saguaro National Park in Arizona, and Canaveral National Seashore in Florida. I want to go there. I'll go for the beach right now. Maybe I'd work on a ship or at a battlefield near the f homeland of an ancient people or at a famous national monument. So this is San Francisco Maritime National Historic Park. Gettysburg National Military Park, Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado, and the Statue of Liberty National Monument in New York. If I were a national park ranger, I would protect the land, the plants, the buildings, and the wild animals of my park. I'd protect animals in many different ways. I'd make sure that people didn't get too close to the animals or disturb their homes. I'd make sure people didn't feed them or leave garbage that might make the animals sick. So this is Padre Island National Seashore and Yellowstone National Park. Protected spaces such as national parks and national seashores serve as living outdoor research laboratories. If I were a national park ranger, I might work with scientists to study the area's animals, plants, water, or soil. Or I could help with the discovery of fossils or artifacts in my park. That's Denali National Park in Alaska. 
I'd help campers, hikers, sightseers, and other visitors to learn and enjoy my park. Did you know that hundreds of millions of people visit national park sites each year? I might greet guests at the visitor center or lead a ranger talk. I'd meet people from all over the country and world who traveled to see the treasures of the park. I'd be a great storyteller. I'd learn about the natural history, the human history, and the legends of my park so I could share those tales. I'd tell a few spooky campfire stories too. So that's Yosemite and that's Petroglyph National Monument. And that one doesn't have one. It could be any of them. I know lots about the I'd know lots about the park's landmarks, plants, and wildlife. I'd even recognize the calls, tracks, and scat of most animals in my park. So I could answer any question. Almost. I might take people on a tour on foot, on in a tram, or in a kayak. Or maybe I'd lead a tour on snowshoes, or by flashlight, or even by candlelight. Lots of different knowledge and interests come in handy. I might dress up in old-fashioned clothes and portray someone from another time. So let's see. We have DeSoto National Memorial. Glacier National Park, and the Lincoln Boyhood Home. If I were a National Park Ranger, I'd always be on the lookout for fires or threatening weather. If I spotted trouble, I'd use my two-way radio to report it to the emergency dispatcher. Then the other rangers and I would use our training and experience to keep everyone and everything as safe as possible. And that's at Acadia National Park in Maine. But sometimes things still go wrong. Then I might be part of a search and rescue team that saves someone who is lost or in danger. It's at Death Valley National Park. If I were a park ranger, I'd probably spend time outside maybe lots of time outside, and in all kinds of different weather. But park rangers work inside too. Some use computers to design exhibits, make maps, write articles, and keep track of endangered animal populations. Others update park websites with information and alerts about closed roads or other issues. Great Smoky Mountains National Park. If I were a national park ranger, I might leave my park to visit classrooms. I talk with students about the wonders of my workplace because our national parks belong to them too. If I were a national park ranger, my park would be cleaner and safer because of me. The animals living there would be stronger and healthier too. And let's see, best classroom, Channel Islands National Park. And maybe, because of all I did, some visitors to my park would experience something astonishing. A moment that could happen nowhere else in the world. A moment they'd remember forever. Then, like me, they'd want to take care of these very special places, too. That's the Grand Canyon. So, yeah. I think someday I just might be a National Park Ranger. And that is Mount Rushmore National Memorial. The end. So that was, once again, If I Were a Park Ranger by Katherine Steer, illustrated by Patrick Corrigan. Such a fun little book. Um, so while you guys are at home thinking about, you know, what does your future look like? It might be something where if you want to be outside and you want to see beautiful things, or even if you want to live close to home, we have the arch. It might be something for you to look into while you're gone. Be sure to check back because teachers going to be uploading videos all the time. We're going to be reading. We're going to be writing. We're going to be lecturing. We're going to be making stuff. So stick around, and I can't wait to see you guys eventually. Know that if you ever need me, please call me or text me. I am usually available unless I am 
wrangling Bob. Um, I miss you all so, so, so much. Please stay safe. Please let us know if you need anything. I love you all. Bye.